Hello everyone, what's up? French 15 here with another episode of Marvel Spider-Man 2. When last we left Peter Parker and Miles Morales, Miles was about to go visit his uncle who had just gotten out of prison for, you know, doing shady bad guy things at Miles Morales. So let's go check up on the Prowler. Gotta do this with the mask on. Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? <laughs> How did you... Hey, Miles. That Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna hang up like that? <laughs> it's okay. okay. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. <laughs> Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Oh boy, mini games. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Whoa, okay. I thought that was a slide, not a... <laughs> I about took myself out. <laughs> Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. Interesting. You would have made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Yeah, maybe in another universe he was a decent prowler. Tell me what this is. Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. 
Could definitely use this. Good. I'll definitely take that. Oh, that'll come in handy. Oh, I could definitely use another focus bar. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay, I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Hmm? Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. Y... ¿Cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Hey, Pete. You ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. The name outside the building didn't give you an idea? hoping for something a little less this but my dad was the one who you know he made all the arrangements Peter and... Parker <laughs> so what do you think it's a far cry from that chop shop that auto had you in <laughs> and now that you're on board this place is really gonna start cooking Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. 
Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Does that mean he's going to turn into a big mutated bee at some point? Here, follow me. Or she, excuse me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. Robo bees. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third oh. of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? This is cool. <laughs> These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting these bees, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target and make The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep. Oh yeah. Gotta protect the hive. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. What's this? Idea. Looks like meat. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Dr. Connors. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains. Anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Hang on a second. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. 
Yeah. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Harry's at the particle accelerator. Okay. Particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Particle accelerator in the middle of Manhattan. It's not dangerous at all. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. L Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. And then another day, another Dr. Foster. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Interesting. Okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah. So I probably want this instead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. 
Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. So beautiful. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. So do you think you could watch YouTube on that? If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. Mm. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. So that stuff with Harry was all very touching, but uh, I'm <laughs> now I'm like, mm, all right, and how many ways is this going to go terribly, terribly wrong? See any bad guys? Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find them. Unless they're under the bridge. Oh. Littering? Come on, man. Ooh. They're cloaked.
Hi, guys. That's funny that they did the arachnid thing, because I said that a lot during my f <laughs> during the first game. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline going through the city like it's an obstacle course never gets old. Getting to do real science though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. You can daydream about those fat science stacks later. <laughs> Time to chase. Oh, don't burn the billboard. Uh-oh. Whoa, is that a real gun? That actually works? something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Whoa! I was worried about that. Send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Oh, this building's different. Where are we? Chinatown. Yeah, I was about to say. So, this is, yeah, this building's definitely new. Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Uh oh. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta 
drop one of them away. I heard something. That's one. Sleep tight. House fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Who's international mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. Another day, another homicidal mercenary group that wants to take down the city. The, I love that they added spit to That's those now. Point. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Ganky, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Good question. Yes, it's loaded. What are you using? Just make sure the beast have the right scent. You want some pun? You hungry too? <clears throat> and sleep. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Ooh, grappling hook. Oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beetles, talent drugs, ammunition, rations. Hmm. Still missing some shipments. I'll have to pay that job. <clears throat> These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich or well connected. Or both. Okay, that's awesome. This is this is gonna be so much. This is gonna be so handy. I didn't want you to be lonely, so I'll nice leave you up here with your friends. All right, <laughs> where to next?
research lab? Are they juicing Craven up? Oh. Craven studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal... Ugh. Dr. Farley still will? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. That's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison. Couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Were they Wait. testing their weapons on that armor? Looks like Scorpion's armor. Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. I don't know if it's an exact it's replica. Sick. I don't. I think it's actually his armor. <laughs> Would you look at that? Do do do. Hey MJ. Do do do. I have another name do, 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 do. Seems like he's the boss of these guys, and he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, game.
Okay, you ruined my combo, dude. Oh, well, I was stuck with arrows too. Ow. I could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. Okay, that was not the time to quit, unfortunately. Nice doggy kitty robot. Button mash. I'm really surprised that computer isn't completely smashed. Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. And Vulture. Scorpion break out. To account for the tail there, Craven. Is this the best you can do?
Where are you? Estás listo? For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. <sighs> Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. Amazing fantasy comic there in the corner. belonging to those safari pirates or hunters as they call themselves and learned their boss's name craven and he killed scorpion and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains wait what does this mean lee i don't know but this list is extensive these must be the people marco warned us about they were hunting sandman no way he's just on their list too black hat your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you! Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee Miles. I promise. <sighs> I've got some time until MJ calls. All right, so uh, <laughs> there is a, uh, I think, a pretty good place to leave it. It's a little, you know, a little bit of a cliffhanger. What's going to happen to Black Cat? Um, it's like I kind of, I kind of called it. The Scorpion was dead. You know, having his armor. There's like, oh, this is almost an exact replica. It's like, no, I think that is his armor. He's probably dead. Um, kind of called that, but uh, so, so yeah, very interesting developments so we'll go ahead and leave it there for now so until next time i am personal 15 uh thank you for watching remember to like come subscribe all that great stuff or to follow me on twitter and instagram those links are in the description below and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and goodbye